Hi, Williams. Your microphone. Ah. <laughs> ¿Qué tal? How are you? I'm, I'm great. Yeah. Excellent. Did you work today, Williams? Yeah, I went to the office in the afternoon. Okay. Yeah, and the morning I have a home office. Oh, nice. Okay, very nice. So are you going to like the field right now, Williams, or only at the office? No, tomorrow I am going out. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Oh, okay. All right. Now, when you go, Williams, is all day outside or just a half a day? No, it's all day. Oh, wow. Okay. Sometimes I come back to around to 7 or 8 o'clock. Oh, right on time for your class. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Now, do, yeah. you, do you go, do you live in San Salvador, Williams, or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, when you go out, do you stay here in San Salvador or you go, or you have to go like to other departamentos? Other departments. Uh, I'm going to Oh, okay. Now, is the uh, NGO that you work for, is it education or is it like related to education or not? No, it is about um, community development. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah, it's about that. Yeah. Okay, very nice. Interesting. Thank you. All right. Do you like what you do, Williams? Yeah, I love it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I enjoy it. <laughs> really? Yes, yes. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's, uh, all days are, are like, we have some different things. Right, yeah. Some, uh, have you been working there places. for? Yeah. How long have you worked there for? Uh, for seven years. Oh, really? Yes, this is my eight. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, very nice. Mm. Okay, interesting. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, Irene. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Everybody. How are you? <laughs> How are you today? Very good. Excellent. Very, Excellent. Very, Very good. Nice. Nice. Nice teacher. Very nice. Nice to see you. Thank Elizabeth. You. Hi, Ellie. Elizabeth Salguero. Hello. Hi. I'm okay, Elizabeth. A ver, cuénteme por qué sigue en la oscuridad. No la vemos. Okay, teacher. Thank you, Elizabeth. Very good. Nice. Hola. Tell me. My face sometimes is looking. Tiny. That's okay. You look beautiful anyway, Elizabeth. Come on. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> we are in a, we are in home. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. No kidding. <laughs> Sometimes my face is. <laughs> I okay. Tiny. Yeah, I know. I understand. But but you know what? It's okay. okay. We are a family, Elizabeth. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And we know. have. Yeah. We have to work hard. I know, I know. We, and we are all hard. tired. At, at this time, everybody's very tired. <laughs> yeah. It's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very good. Hi, okay, Jose Okay, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today, Jose Luis? I am great, teacher. Okay. What about you? I'm okay. I'm okay. A little tired, just like Elizabeth, but that's okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I have a yeah. I have a class before this one. So from six to. Ah, you have a class yeah. before uh -huh. this one. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you are tired. A little bit, but it's For it's it's nice, you know, because it's different level. The other the other group is beginners. So uh, it's yeah. Basic. yeah, it's basic. So it's different because with you guys we talk already, all right. But with the other uh, <laughs> students, they are learning how to speak. But it's interesting. I like yeah. it. <laughs> but you are for for hours. Yeah, for hours. Yes, Elizabeth. I you prefer. 
I like, like gold. gold. Oh, advanced. <laughs> I like both, Elizabeth, because they are and different. Both. Yeah, I like both. Uh, you know, the, I like I like the basic because you feel that you're helping people learning little by little, you know? With you guys, it's nice because we can talk and that's important too, you know? So we, we communicate already, so that's nice. And it's a challenge. <laughs> Yes, it's you know, some people say that basic levels are like the most challenging ones because you need to make them understand and you have to teach them all the rules since the beginning and everything. But it's fun. I like it. Yeah. So, Jose Luis, is the hotel opening soon? For this moment, I think um, September, in September, September oh, really? 19. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All yeah. right. Okay. But maybe is the our face open 24, maybe they open uh, in the beginning of September, maybe. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So almost, Jose Luis, you're going back to work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, when you go, when you start working, or when you work, Jose Luis, at the hotel, do you stay at the hotel or you go home? No, I only work there and I come back home. Ah, okay. The hotel gives transportation. Ah, all right. Different schedule. Yes. Right. Okay. And you don't finish very late. Yes, I finish at uh, eleven eleven p.m. Really. Yes, I I oh my come goodness. back home around around no. one one a.m. Are you serious, Jose yeah. Luis? Every day, Jose Luis? Yes, every every day. I am my schedule starts at two thirty p.m. Ah, from two thirty the... to eleven. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, what are you gonna yeah. do with your classes? Working. Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe <laughs> we have time to start one hour or maybe two hours, I, I don't know. Right, how, yeah. How can I do next next month? Is the right. hotel open? Mm -hmm. I don't know if we have time. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, you have to take that into consideration. Yeah. Yes, this, yeah. Door. Yeah, no kidding, but because this one, this one you will finish it with no problem, I think. Because this one we finish the fourth, I believe, of September. Yes, but, but maybe it's possible I have another schedule because sometimes mm. I start at six AM and finish uh, at three PM. Right. So we to of course. Study English. Mm -hmm. yes, maybe. Yeah, no kidding. Very nice. Yeah, nice. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Very good. All right. Very nice. So, guys, where's everybody today? Oh my <laughs> I'm waiting for the rest of the students. All right. So, Elizabeth. Ah, oh, Henry's here. Hi, Henry. Okay. Tell me. So, Eli, yesterday we were talking about not only but also. All right. And we were talking, we were trying to use adjectives. We were trying to use adverbs. We were trying to use verbs. Subject, and subject and noun. Right. Yes, I remember okay. You remember that. Very good. Okay. So uh, when we use not only, not only at the very beginning, Elizabeth, why do we do that? For us to do what? When we use not only. Say it again. I'm sorry. Uh, your answer, teacher, is when I use not only and at the beginning, but also. Uh -huh, but uh, at the at beginning, the beginning. Mm -hmm. not only mm -hmm. at the beginning. Okay, uh, I need to make a sentence. Oh, tell me why or when do uh, we why? use not only at the beginning of a sentence. Oh. I don't know, teacher. Tell me, please. <laughs> All right. Williams, do you remember when or why? Not when, but why do we use not only at the beginning of a sentence? Tell me, William. <laughs> Tell me, guys. When you uh, about the compare to scenes. Yeah. Yeah. 
remember that when we want to emphasize, yeah. all right, we, we use not only at the very beginning of the sentence when you want to be emphatic on something, all right? Not only he was in class, but also he participated, all right? So you're emphasizing not only, that's why you use the not only at the very beginning of the sentence, okay? Yeah. What does that mean in, in Spanish? No, no, no solamente estaba en clase, pero participaba. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> All right, very good. Hi, Moises. Hi, Diana. Hi, Diana. Hi, good, good, evening. Evening. Good, evening. good evening. Nice to see you, Diana. Moises, what happened yesterday? Nos dejo esperándolo. Yes, it was raining here in my city. I had a, a bad connection. Yeah, yes. I'm really sorry for that. No, that's okay, Moises. Yeah, it was raining really hard yesterday. It rained a little bit today here at my house, but right now it has to stop. So let's see if it doesn't rain later. All right. Hi, Jesse. But it's nice to have you back, Moises. Thank you for being in class. Hi, Jesse. Hi, teacher. How are you? And so so because I am a little starved. You're tired. <laughs> Yes, ah. all day. Oh my goodness. And you had classes to teach online today, Jesse? Uh, today not because I had, a, I had a meeting with the principal okay. for for what agent all the activity that for the next week. Oh, to organize all the activities. All right, I yes. see. Oh, interesting. Okay, very good. All right, guys. So we were talking with uh, your classmates already about what we studied yesterday, that we were talking about not only, but also and the different parts of his speech that we may use with the um, structure, all right? So not only, we can use it with an adverb, with verbs, with nouns, with adjectives, okay? And that means that they are parallel structures, that they are the same, okay? Remember that you may use not only at the very beginning of your sentences, okay? And that is when you want to be emphatic, when you want to emphasize something, then you use not only, right? All right, so I say not only he was my friend, but also my confident, all right? So I said, I, I tried to make it very emphatic, okay? So that's, that's what we did yesterday. Were you able to finish uh, the sentences at the very uh, last minute yesterday, Diana? Were you able to finish the sentences that I assigned? Mm, uh, yes, teacher. Do you have them, Diana, or did you write them on, the, on your notebook? Hi, Ellie. Mm. I, I, no, I, I, you don't have them? No, no, I don't have them. You know what? I'm going to share them with you. Just let me go get them because uh, we used them yesterday. So let me just get them here. Okay, here we go. All right. So we share them. All right. This is what we did yesterday. So let's try to finish it up here. So we may go on with the other topic. This is what we studied yesterday, Moises, because you were not in class, not only, but also in different positions and with different parts of his speech, Moises, okay? So we're not only using it with adjectives, but also with adverbs or nouns, and they are the same. So if you notice here, it says she's not only beautiful, but also intelligent. Beautiful is the adjective, intelligent is the adjective. Uh, we say she speaks English not only fluently, but also naturally. In this, in this case, we're using uh, adverbs in both uh, sentences, okay? So that's what we studied yesterday. This one also, I like not only apples, but also bananas, okay? And then we were supposed to work on this. It's a, it said join the pair of sentences uh, below using the structure not only, but also. Can you help us out on number one? She wants to uh, she wants to run oh, she wants to run a marathon. She wants to write a book. Okay, me teacher. Yes, Diana. Okay. Not only she wants to run a marathon, but also she wants to write a book. Yeah. What there is a spelling mistake on this sentence, right? The runs should not be like that. She wants to run. Um, no, she yeah. wants to run. All right. So make sure that you don't make. 
<laughs> that mistake that it's here already, okay? okay. Uh, Williams, what do you have for number two? He hits very hard, he moves very fast. Williamsito, your microphone is off. My mouse doesn't work. <laughs> it's not working? Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not only he hits very hard, but also he moves very fast. Thank you. Very nice. Jesse, what do you have for number three? Okay, number three. There are not only strong, but also steaming. But they, but also? Steaming, I don't know. Stamina, I don't know how that. Stamina is like it's stamina. It's like resistencia. All right, very good. Stamina, okay. yeah. All right, very good. Yeah. yeah for, for strong people. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. All right. Um, let me see. Who else is in class right now? Uh, hi, Oscar. Hi, Vero. Oh my goodness, I didn't see you coming in. Uh, let me see. Diana, do you have a number? Number 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 three. Can you do number three again, Diana? Okay. Not only they are strong. Ah, not only. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Continue. But also they, but also they have stamina. Yeah, stamina. Very good. But also, stamina. okay. So in that case, you put the not only at the at the beginning. Very good. Oscar, can you do number four for us, please? I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Number four. Yes, please. Uh, he not only likes uh, to train hard at the gym, but also follows a healthy diet. He also, but also follows a healthy diet. All right. Is that how you have, like, is, is that how you um, have it, guys, the rest of you? Or do you have it somewhere, somehow differently? And not only he likes to train hard at the gym, but also he follows a healthy diet. All right. Okay. Very good. Nice. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Uh, Jose Luis, do you have number five? Number five. He not only writes for some newspaper, but also painting and decorating. Mm -hmm. Say it again. He not only writes. For articles for news for some newspapers. Oh my goodness, Jose Luis, <laughs> you're breaking up. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Oh no, Jose Luis is having problems with his connection. It's okay. Uh, someone else that wants to do it so we can like listen to it. Me teacher. Okay. For new paper, but also painting and decorating. And decorating. All right. Okay. All right. Verito. Hi, Norma. Vero, can you do number six? Number six. Uh, Hina also wants to work carefully. <laughs> Veronica, go ahead, go ahead, number six. He not also wants to buy a car for his son, but, uh, but, uh, I don't know. <laughs> he not only, right? Not only, no, not also. Not, yeah, not, um, let me check only. Uh, not, all, not only, he not only wants to buy a car for his son, but also he wants to buy a motorbike for himself. All right. Anybody else has it differently? Yeah. Aha, uh -huh, Williams. Okay. Uh, not only he wants to buy a car for his son, but also he wants to buy a motorbike for himself. All right. Okay. Very good. The last uh, number seven, Norma. What do you have for number seven? Normita, your microphone is off, Norma. Uh, I I not I not only the book I the book read yesterday was educational, but also 
I read yesterday. <coughs> Let me see. Yesterday was interesting. Mm, let's see. Someone else has it differently, guys. For number seven. Me, teacher. Yes, please. The book I read yesterday was educational, but also it was interesting. Not only the book I, re I read yesterday uh -huh. was educational, but also it was interesting. Okay, that's better. Very good. Okay, very good. And the last one. Let's see. Um, who wants to do the last one? Number eight. Let me try. Yes. Not only the restaurant was too noisy, but also the food was quite, quite bland. bland. All right, okay, very good. All right, guys, very nice. So today, we're gonna keep on talking about another pair of uh, pair conjunctions, all right? Uh, I know usually these, these uh, pair conjunctions, they come together, but because of the way they have organized it and the, the way they are on the manual that we're using, they are they have separate them all right but today we're going to study neither nor later we're going to study either or okay so i'm going to present this ppt so you guys can follow me here all right so this is what we are going to be working on tonight it says neither nor and we're and we're going to use either nor and we're going to review both and all right uh, so this is what I have for you here. Okay, let me hear. Okay, so we're talking about neither nor, and later on, we're gonna, later, like I think next week, we have to talk about either or, all right? So neither nor. Let me see, Eli, Larin, can you read this please? Neither nor. Neither nor is used to join two negative, negative ideas. ideas. Excellent, Eli, thank you. Neither nor is used to join two negative ideas, okay? Let's see. Vero, can you read the example? I neither smoke nor drink. Okay. Look at that. Everyone, that's <laughs> Why, Oscar? That's being healthy. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I know, I know. All I'm right. No kills. Yeah. Uh, Jesse, neither nor. Continue, please. Sometimes more than two ideas are connected by neither nor. All right. Henry, read the examples. It is either spoke nor looked at me. All right. So he neither smiled, spoke, nor looked at me, all right? So in that case, there are like more than two ideas, a smile, a smoke, I mean, spoke and looked, all right? Diana, read the other one, please. Diana, neither nor, uh-huh. Yes. Neither is always followed by nor. Always, okay? It's always followed by nor, uh-huh. Example, Eric Diaz, do you mind reading it? Thank you, Diana. Okay. Neither Tom nor Peter calls all the problem. Thank you. Neither is always followed by nor. Neither Tom nor Peter could solve the problem. Was someone able to solve it? Was someone no able one. to solve the problem? No one. No one. Neither Tom nor Peter. All right, very good. Next one. Let me know if you want me to stop because I think some of you are copying or taking notes, which is fine. And so if I'm going too fast, stop me and I'll stop. Next one, all right? <laughs> all right. Okay. Neither uh -huh. nor, continue guys. Who wants to read this one? Me. Thank you. Neither, neither nor is used to deny two possibilities. Thank you. Neither nor is used to deny two possibilities, okay? Uh, Sylvia, hi Sylvia, hi Jennifer. Welcome to class. Sylvia, thank you. Read. Thank you. Hi, good night. Good evening. Yes, Sylvia, can you read the, uh, uh, the example, please? Neither. Ah, oh, no, just continue reading the explanation. Uh, neither must be? Yes. Neither must be preceded by... Preceded, uh, preceded, preceded. 
preceded, preceded by a positive statement. As we never use two negative forms in the same sentence. All right. Neither must be preceded by a positive statement as we never use two negative forms in the same sentence. Now, Moises, do you mind reading the example? Wednesday is neither the first nor the last day of the week. All right. Wednesday is neither the first nor the last day of the week. That means that Wednesday is in the middle of the week. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Jenny, can you read the explanation? Neither nor. Neither nor is used in the negative sense when you want to say that two or more things, or more things are not true. All right. Let's see. Norma, do you mind reading the example? Neither my mother nor my father went to university. Right. Neither my mother nor my father went to university. All right. Mm, this is important. Uh, let's see. Guillermo. Hi, Guillermo. Nice to have you in class. Guillermo, do you mind reading this? Voy yo. Neither nor Guillermo, do you mind reading this? Hello, teacher. Hi, Guillermo. Can you read this for us, please, Guillermo? If. If both elements are singular, then the verb is singular too. Thank you. If both elements are singular, then the verb is singular too. Gerardo, do you mind reading? Thank you, Guillermo. Do you mind reading this, Gerardo? Neither Leila nor Nancy is going to write the report. The report, uh huh. The report. Leila and Nancy are singular, so the verb is is singular too. All right. Neither Leila nor Nancy is going to write the report. Okay. So in that case, the verb is being singular because they are being separated. So they are taken as one or like a singular subject, okay? Let's see. Um, Jesse, read this one, please. Anneli, you read the example. Uh-huh, Jesse. Okay. If one of the elements is plural, then use a plural verb. All right, Elizabeth Salguero. Okay. Neither the teacher nor the student were in the classroom this morning. The student is plural, so the verb were is plural too. All right, so neither the teacher. It does, in this case, if you notice, guys, yeah. teacher, teacher is only one, but students is plural. So you're going to, I mean, you're going to take, the verb is going to be used according to the last one closest to the verb, okay? Remember, aha, uh -huh, Oscar, can you tell us what to remember? Oscar? No? All right. Um, okay, sorry, sorry, what's yeah. in here? Uh, can, you, can you say again, please? Yes, because just, I, just, I was attending okay. another thing, another thing, uh -huh. All right, can you just read where it says remember? Okay, remember. Neither nor the verb depends on the subject closer to the verb. Right, because we were showing this example. If one of the elements is plural, then use a plural verb. But you have to take the one that is closest to it. So neither the teacher nor the students, all right, were in the classroom this morning. The students is plural. So the verb were is plural too. So that's why you have to remember it. It depends on the subject closer to the verb, okay? Well, if you notice well, this one here, neither Leila, only one person, nor Nancy, only one person is going to write, okay? So the verb is singular because the subject closest to the verb is singular. That's why you use is, all right? Mm -hmm. But in this case, you're using students, Students is plural, all right? So you're going to make the verb plural because the subject that is closest to the verb is plural. Do you understand that? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, Diana. What is 
which one is the, the most important rule body uh, apparently there are two rules mm -hmm. one of them is that you, if one of the element elements is plural then use a plural verb right for example if, if in this sentence the the subjects uh, were uh, were uh, uh, in different places mm -hmm. for example if you say neither the students nor the teacher which was were in the classroom ah okay right. so the rule is that the the main rule is the the close uh, the verb subject. closer to Close. the verb yeah the okay. subject closest to the verb is the one that is going to give the order on how to use the verb Okay, All right. Okay. Thank you. And that's Thank a perfect you. example, eh, Diana. If we switch it, just like you did, neither mm -hmm. the students, that's mm -hmm. plural, nor the teacher, singular, is or was in this case, because it's in simple past. But if you want to leave it in simple present, you would take teacher as the singular verb. Okay. okay. Right? Thank because you. teacher is only one, it's on the, the singular subject. Very good, Diana. Nice. Thank you. Okay, so this is like the rule that you have to, like, take into account. That's why it says, remember, the verb depends on the subject closer to the verb. Okay? Yes? This is just to remind, the, remember the first class we saw this uh, according to what we have to study today. I need to like review it so you guys remember. And then we're going to go back to neither nor. Uh, both and. Norma, can you read this please? Normita. Okay, teacher. Both is used to talk about two peoples, people, things, places, or action within the same context. Thank you. All right. So this one is not very complicated. Both is to talk about two people, things, places, or actions with the same context. Okay. So here we have a uh, Henry. Read this, please. The example. Well, from the United States. Right. Both Peter and Jennifer are both from the United States. Okay. No problem with that. Then we say, um, uh, let me see. Jennifer, can you read this one? Both refer? Yes. Yeah. Both refers to the first and the second choice. All right. Let's see. Uh, Moises, read the example. I take both meal and sugar in my coffee. Okay. This means I take sugar and I also take milk. Very good. All right, I take both milk and sugar in my coffee. Both refers to the first and the second choice. Okay, so this is we have two choices. Very good. Oh, look at that, that's the coffee. All right, before we do the exercise, I'm gonna go back and we're gonna read again these things and you guys are going to make exercises. This is the one that we're going to study later, not that one. Uh, let me see here. Yeah. All right. Neither nor is used to join two negative ideas. All right. So we can, uh, neither nor can, can join two negative ideas. And we have this one. I neither smoke nor drink. It's, it is not that it's negative, but you're saying that you don't do any of those things. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. For example, if you say it's not that it's negative or not, but you're saying I don't do it. I neither smoke nor drink. I neither speak mm -hmm. English nor French. All right. So when you're saying that you don't do something, then you may use neither nor. Okay. Let's see this one. Uh, sometimes more than two ideas are connected. All right. So he neither smiled, spoke, nor looked at me. All right. So he neither... Came to, uh, came to class, participated, nor, uh, I don't know, turn on the uh, speaker, all right, to say something. All right? So you have different ideas here, all right? But you're joining them with neither nor. Another one is that neither is always followed by nor, okay? Uh, watch it because with either or that we will study later, probably next week, you use or, in this case, you're using nor. Neither is always followed by nor. You cannot say neither or, all right? It's neither nor. That, that's why they are pair conjunctions because they always go together, okay? Then you have here, 
neither Tom nor Peter could solve the problem, okay? So in that case, none of them could solve it. They were not able to do it. like negative ideas here. Neither nor is used to deny two possibilities. So in a way, neither nor, they are in the sense of neg negativeness. You know, everything is kind of negative that you're not able to do or that the possibility is being denied. So neither must be preceded. When you do this, neither uh, it need, needs to be preceded by a positive statement, as we never use two negative forms in the same sentences. So Wednesday is neither the first nor the last day of the week. Then we have this one is used in the negative sense when you want to say that two or more things are not true. Again, if you notice, we're using neither nor in this negative sense, all right? Nothing is like being positive here. Neither my mother nor my father went to university, okay? So they are not true. When you want to say the two or more things are not true. Then this one is what we were talking about. If both elements are singular, then the verb is singular too. Okay, so as you notice, we take is because Nancy is singular and Le Leila is singular. All right, if, if one of the elements is plural, then use a plural verb, but you need to use it if it's closer to the verb, the subject that is closer to the verb. Do you understand those rules in order to use neither nor, guys? Sure, sure. Yeah. All right, very good. Yeah. This is what we're going to do okay. first to begin with, okay? I'm going to send you right now to your groups, all right? And I want you just with what we just read and went through together, I want you to come up with sentences using neither nor. Any sentence, like any type of sentence that you want, you may use plural, you may use singular, all right? You may use any tense. Right now, we're not like watching as long as they make sense. Then we're coming back, we are sharing them, then we're doing some exercises and we're going to do, we're gonna work on the manual today, okay? So what I want you to do is go there and come up with, let's say four sentences using neither nor, all right? Uh, let's, let's, say, um, let's see if you guys can work on one singular, one plural, right? And then like the other ones that we mentioned here, okay? So I'm gonna send you right now to your groups. And then we're coming back. All right, there we go. Okay, and the, uh, the for example, you listen to me? Yes, I listen. Okay, and the first example, um, neither neither another. Neither Steve Jobs nor Bill Gates finish college. The third example. 
your right I, hand. I, 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 want, I want to show the, the screen, but I, I don't know. I show this. I... You copy in your notes, nothing. I chose this, I see you. Do you the... want me to share, guys? Or oh, I know you have it. Yes. Uh, teacher, how many sentences I we made? Four. You may just make four. I just want to see your sentences. Four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna yeah, if you want to, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, my father. No, te estoy entendiendo. Ajá. Sí, estoy comprendiendo cómo vamos a usar el mire y el no. Power of the country. Okay. Uh, ladies, uh, neither my sister nor my brother travel out of the country. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Williams and Elizabeth, we are only four from the group that was coming. The group is the four. Only, only, only you, Elisa. Ah, no more. Elizabeth, Williams, Ellie, Norma, and Gerardo. That we we were coming from the other course. Remember. The other classmates, they are still on the other program. Uh, one hour only. Uh huh. Uh, Excuse me, Williams? You prefer this one? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah, Elmer wanted to be in this one too. <laughs> okay. Elmer, remember Elmer? Elmercito? Yeah. What is? He, he, I don't understand why he was, I mean, he were, was not able to get into this program. All the papers ready. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And Mario too. I think it was Noemi, Mario, and, and Elmer. They had everything ready, and I don't know. Maybe on uh -huh. the next, maybe next time on the next course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They are sick, teacher. What happened about no, this, about they? No, it's just their paperwork was not. Um, they were not able to get in because of the paperwork, but I mean, they had everything ready. Uh, but maybe next time they will be ne next, of course. Yeah. But no, with us. <laughs> I guess not because they are, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to happen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I miss Elmer. <laughs> Yeah, no kidding, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, very good sentence. Neither my sister nor my brother travel out of the country. Very good. Yeah, okay. Okay, try to think about three more sentences about. We can use uh, the, the time of the verb. Yeah, part. whatever. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, um. For example, neither um, my father uh, nor my sister mm, uh, like Christmas. No, oh, that's not true, Diana. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not true. Okay, very good. Oh, was, oh no! Ex for example. <laughs> okay. Uh, neither mm -hmm. my friends, my friends, no, nor no. the box store, the what? Nor the box store, box store. bookstore, ah, bookstore, 
bookstore. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Bookstore has the book. Ah, okay. Has the book. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They might That's okay. The bookstore has the book, yeah, perfect. Yeah. All right. Okay. No, if, you, if you notice, <laughs> if you notice, Guillermo, <laughs> they're using mm -hmm. has because bookstore is only one. It's only one. If you yeah. switch it, then it would have to change. Yeah. Yeah. We, we would have okay. to say have. That's right. right. Yeah. Neither yeah. the bookstore nor my friends have the book. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Nice. Enters Guillermo. Ah, se me cayeron tres canas ya, teacher. Bueno, eso es bueno. Ay, qué Guillermo. Y ahí era así como yo preocupada de qué le pasó a Guillermo. Ah, de todo pasó ayer con esa tormenta. Sí, verdad, que ayer de verdad que llovió so hard. De sorpresa. Uh -huh. Y llovió toda la tarde. Por mi casa, stop. Sí. Like, it rained like for four hours. Sí. All right. Pero lo bueno que ya está con nosotros, Guillermo. Ahí estamos, ahí estamos. <laughs> Thank you, Guillermo. Very nice. Okay, so you're, you're done, right, guys? Yes, we're going to make a, a sentence with, with uh, more than one. Okay, perfect. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you. I'm going to go okay. check other groups, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you, thank okay. you. Universe. How long time you are working there? Oscarito, you are at your job right now, aren't you? Uh, yes, yes, I am. And where is your mask? Oh, well, I'm, I'm in classes. That's Happy why. Happy Oscar. <laughs> For me, it's, it's, it's difficult to communicate without uh, seeing uh, people's mouth. Really? <laughs> Lips? <laughs> okay, all right. Uh huh. Sometimes I, I barely hear yeah, uh, I know. It's difficult, what people okay. are saying, but I try to guess by, by how they are moving. Ah, <laughs> so right, just, uh, okay. Uh -huh. So, like, what time do you finish working today, Oscar? Oh, tomorrow. Uh, six no, no, no. <gasps> you finish tomorrow? Uh huh. We are taking, do the, the crisis, we are right. taking 24 hours uh, shifts. Shift. Wow. Uh -huh. So you started today at six o'clock in the morning. Uh -huh. You're right. You're right. Oh, Oscar, estoy uh, no se duerme. <laughs> no, because it's, we are the operation to say we are working less. We have less flies. Mm -hmm. So we had a chance to to, to, to see. <laughs> how to say to, to rotation. How to, to rotate. Rotate uh, people on the working uh, the working place. Okay. So I have chance to to go to eat, to to sleep uh, for a while, and uh, also to take a walk. Okay. All right. Oscar, or Os to, to don't get crazy. Uh -huh. I know. <laughs> Oscar said that he neither neither sleep nor eat. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's just on a sample. It's oh so my goodness, Oscar! No, that's not healthy. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, I eat a lot when I am here. I believe so. I would eat a lot all night. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Now, do you like to work like those shifts, um, Oscar, or is it very yeah, so difficult for we, you? No, it's now it's better because I have a more spare time at home. But uh, if we had the the same amount of operation, the same mm -hmm. amount of flies, right? Like uh, like in a regular regular time, mm -hmm. real, uh, it would be really tough. I would yeah. be tired. Of, no, we right. uh, we couldn't we could not uh, take a twenty four hour shift. Okay. Yeah. Where, uh huh. It's not, now it's just uh, due to the crisis. Right. We're taking this. Right. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. I don't think I would be able to work at any job that requires me to be awake all night. <laughs> ah, many people uh, don't like the night shift. Yeah. And some people don't. Uh, how to say? 
uh, some people don't manage uh, mm -hmm. uh, the how to say the, the sleepness the sleepiness. yeah yeah no kidding no I wouldn't. Uh -huh, it's, it's kind of dangerous yeah it is it is that's why in a working place they, they must be for at least two people yeah, no kidding. Otherwise, one, you is go, one is you want to sleep all night. No kidding. It's no good service. morning. <laughs> no kidding. Eh? Yeah. Uh, Vero, would you be able to like work night shifts or not really? Not really. Yeah, mm -hmm. no. No. Because how, how do you, you say, mm -hmm. how do you say in English? Vigilante. I don't know, but <laughs> uh, awareness. Yeah, you have you're to, like aware all the time. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. You you have to be aware. Uh, you have to keep uh, the awareness. Yeah. During a night oh, shift. Right. So yeah, you, you have to be alert. Get used to it. <laughs> yeah, you you, to, that's right. Oh, but you know, I did work there like long time ago, like twenty something years uh -huh. ago. One of my first jobs. <laughs> no, seriously, I work. I used to work uh -huh. at a hotel. And, oh, okay. and they also have like night shifts and the rotation and everything. But I was like 18 years old, so I could do it and you know, whatever. But mm -hmm. now I don't think I would, but I didn't work there for long because I came back that, I mean, I, I lived in Canada, right? So when I was there, I worked at a hotel and then I came uh -huh. back. So I, I just like did it for like a month or so, but no, it's tough. It's not something that I would like to do for like, you know, always. <laughs> wow. But some people do like to work night shifts. I mean, some it's, people do. Well, you get used okay. to it mm -hmm. because it's, it's not uh, every day. Yeah. But taking night shift, shift uh, every day for for a for a road or five days is mm -hmm. it will be really hard. Yeah. It's not it's not good. Right. Now, Oscar, do you work 24 hours? And then how many days do you rest? Okay, we are taking five or, or four days. Oh, wow. Well. Mm. Cool. Mm. I like that. <laughs> told you, I, I, I have a more spare time. Yeah, you do. Yeah. yeah. Mm, interesting. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Every job. Friend. I actually right now there's there's no there's no operations mm -hmm. we are just just like uh waiting for the action wow so so we are is this is the new normal mm -hmm. uh but um, okay it's okay for now right. we have to take advantage that's taking right. english classes <laughs> of course yeah that's the best way to do and to pass you know to be busy a little bit <laughs> Uh -huh. very good interesting nice. all right nice all right very good i'm gonna like check one more group and then we're coming back okay okay teacher. Thank, thank you guys thank you. oh my goodness it is yeah. what I um, oscar uh -huh. let me see and that well Possibilities. Neither nor possibilities. Neither must be perceived by a positive statement as whenever you do. Negative form in the same sentence. Example: Wednesday. Wednesday is neither the first nor the last day of the week. Wednesday is neither the first nor the last day of the week. Either or is just to stay positive. Ellie and Jenny almost finished? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So we're going to go back. We're taking attendance and then we're checking the sentences, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Welcome.
All right, guys, welcome back. Let's see, Gerardo, can you tell us some of your sentences, please? I have a, the first neither neither it has food and nor soda. Okay. All right. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Irene, can you tell us one of your sentences, please? Okay. Um, I have. I have, I have four teachers. Okay, okay, tell us. Uh, I neither dance nor sing. <laughs> okay. Neither the liar, <laughs> neither the liar nor use or defend it. Uh -huh. The next one is neither the teacher nor the classmate is going to learn other language. Ah, classmate, one, you want classmate or classmates? Classmate. Only one, right? So have is. Okay, okay, get it, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. And the last one, neither the driver nor the passenger were, were sorry, in the city day. Okay, very good. Norma, can you tell us your sentences? Normita? Uh, I am um, using the neither nor when I make a positive statement. Okay. For example, uh, driving is neither the first, not the, not the class, not a classmate uh, after, after that, not take a classes after that. Say it again, Norma, please. Driving is neither the first nor the classes after that. Okay. All okay. Right. We need to take classes first one uh -huh, uh -huh. to driving. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see. Diana, thank you, Norma. It's okay. Diana? Okay, teacher, I, we have like six sentences. I don't like neither the color blue nor the green. Okay. I don't like neither to cook nor to clean the house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Only my, examples, right, Diana? <laughs> Only examples, right? <laughs> neither my father nor my sisters like Christmas. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> neither my friends nor the bookstore has the book. Yeah. At this quarantine, I neither went out, went to the beach, nor took a, pool, took a bus. Excellent, very good. All my right. Brother, my brother neither smokes nor drinks. Excellent, all right, very good. All right, uh, let's see one more who wants to share their sentences with us. Someone wants to share? Okay. Okay, Williams. Uh, neither my sister nor my brother traveled out of the country. Traveled out of the country, okay. Uh, Williams, you're having problems with your audio today. Really? Yeah. I, I listened to the first one, but I was not able to listen to the second one. Okay. Uh, right now? Yes, perfect. Okay. Uh, neither Mark nor Peter went to work today. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 And, and then you the end of the world. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I wasn't able to listen to the number fourth one like so well because it's kind of like breaking out. Okay. The end of the world, nor the humanity. Ah, all right. I think I understand what you're saying. All right. Because it's breaking out a little bit. I don't know why, Williams, your, your audio is always good, but not. Like, it's my PC. I, I have uh, my microphone now. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe I'm gonna... All right. That's my... okay. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna take the attendance right now. So please remember to say present. Nancy Elizabeth Larin Chavez. Hey, Eli. Present. Present. <laughs> Thank you. Eric Alirio Perez Diaz. Present. 
Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernández. Hey, what happened to him? Henry Vladimir del Cid Tepas. All right. Moisés Eduardo. No. José Luis Rivera Gutiérrez. José Luis. José José. Anyway, he's there. Very good. Moisés Eduardo Alas Roque. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Present. Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Present. Diana Gabriel Hernández Morales. Present. Andrea María Trabanino Alfaro. Yeah. Present teacher. ¿Quién dijo present? José Luis. Yes. <laughs> All right, very good. Eh, Williams Alexander Rodríguez Argueta. Present. Francisca Irene Lima Hernández. Present teacher. Guillermo Antonio Amaya. Present teacher. Jennifer Carolina Costa Bonilla. Sorry, present teacher. Thank you. Gerardo Daniel González, ah, perdón, Gerardo Daniel Gómez Rodríguez. Present. Our guys. Present. Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. Present teacher. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero. Present. Silvia Marisol Villalta Martínez. Present. Verónica Lizeth Soto Serna. Present. Nubia Araceli Cortés Amaya. No ha entrado Nubia todavía, ¿verdad? No, teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, guys. What we're going to do right now, I'm going to share this with you. Just give me a second. Oh, here it is. And I want you to take. Okay. I want you to take a picture of this. All right. Can you take a picture of this, please? Okay, ready? Okay, yes. Okay, and I also want you to, oops, no, esas son las respuestas. <laughs> Take a picture uh -huh. of this one too. And the last one, this one. Number eight. From number yes. nine to number 35. What is? After number eight, number eight, no, no, se ve. no, sí, no, sí, no, very well. Number eight, we're not gonna do it. Esa se me cortó y no la pude recatar. Ah, okay, <laughs> so number eight doesn't exist right now, so it's all the way to okay. seven and then nine and on. Number eight, no, okay, all right, guys. Yes, did you were you able to take all? Oops, no, vean las respuestas. Were you able to take the pictures? Me faltó una, teacher. A ver, la segunda. This is the first one. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this is the yeah. second one. No, yeah. And this is, whoops, this is the last one. Okay. No. Okay. Ready? Eran dos de estas y una de la otra, de la celestita. Eh, yes. Sí. Oops, sí. <laughs> yes. Oh, bye. Thank okay. you. Okay. All right, okay, so I'm gonna send you back the same groups that you were working with, and then sure. I'm gonna come. Yes, uh, you it are two or three pictures, three pictures, Norma. I only have two. Ah, okay, let me see. Boy, Normita, the first one, the one to four, uh huh, and the other one, the neither oh, nor, uh -huh. one to 25. Okay, and this is the last one, Norma, from 9 to 35. I'm missing the, the second the, one. The second one. This teacher. is the second one. Okay. From 1 to 25. Oh, second one. And another one? From 9 to 35. Ah, uh, this one. The, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This is the third one. Yeah, this is the I last the one. Second. Ah, okay. I, I'm missing the second one. Okay. Normita, ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, Thank Oscar, there you go. Okay, let me try. Mm -hmm. 
I got it now. So in Thank this you. one, guys, on uh, the, this one here, you need to say, it says fill in uh, neither nor or both and, okay, for these four, uh, the four sentences. And this one's right here, you, it says join the following pairs of as negative sentences using neither nor. So they give you the information and you need to make one whole sentence using neither nor, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Let's go then to your groups. The microphone, I don't listen. You okay. listen? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. yes. Very good. Just take the picture. Okay. Yes. Okay. Did the first. And uh, feel a neither, a neither, either neither, nor or both. She's um, she, okay. Is both Frederick and Frederick and Cleaver. Frederick and Cleaver. Ah, uh -huh. she's both. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi, Irene. Hi, uh, teacher. I need your, your help okay. because uh, I guess that uh, Jose Luis have problem with the internet and yeah. I, I don't have a, uh, a couple. Yeah, in, uh, Jose Luis is coming in right now. Again. Ah, okay. So let's see if he, yeah, but, uh, he's he, here, he is right now. Hi, Jose Luis. I don't know if he can hear me. Yeah, he says it's raining by his house. Jose uh -huh, Luis? In his house, yes, and he's having problem with the internet. I come back. <laughs> yeah, Jose Luis, thank you. <laughs> All right. So can you listen well, Jose Luis? Yes, it's, it's raining very hard. Yeah, I understand. All right, Irene, do you have the pictures? <laughs> I can come yes, back. I <laughs> yes, I have. Picture. Okay. Yes, I have. Uh, this is why I can listen well. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, Irene, in case Jose Luis like goes out again, I'm gonna move you to another group, okay? Uh -huh. Okay, Irene, can you hear me? Yes, I can, Tisha. All right. So, um, okay. try, try, try to work with Jose Luis as much as you can. All right. Okay. But I think he's having problems with his internet because of the rain. It's okay. Thank right. you. No, I think that. Trabajas o estudias de Santos en con el inglés? I studied at the Don Bosco University. Oh yeah. English. English. Okay, the, the first one I spoke to both the teacher and the headmaster about your problems. The headmaster is like the, the principal, right, teacher? 
Yes, it is. Yeah, the headmaster is like a principal of a school. Oh, okay, okay. You can say both. Yeah. Both. Principal and headmaster. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Both Thank you. teacher. Both the teacher and the headmaster. headmaster. Okay. Okay, so the, the next one. Okay, in the next part of the exercise, uh, okay, join the following pairs of, uh, of negative sentences using using neither nor. I could not find Sita at home. I could not find Nikhil at home. So you can say, I, I neither could not find Sida nor Nikhil at home. Is neither open today? Okay. Okay, the zoo is not open today. The museum is not open today and the zoo is not open today, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let me check. Now, um, neither neither the museum nor the zoo is open is open because the last one is singular mm -hmm. is open today neither the museum is open nor the zoo uh-huh nor the zoo no 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 neither the museum mm -hmm. nor the soup is open today. Neither the neither the museum nor the zoo is open uh -huh. today. Okay. Uh -huh. I think so. Is open. Mm -hmm. I think it's okay. Uh huh. Uh, for okay. the, the neither he. He neither uh, told. He neither told his mother. Nor his father. Uh -huh. He neither told his mother. Wow. Is he didn't tell his mother. Neither. He neither... Do you imagine if we are trying to, to make up these, these sentences in a real conversation? You have to stop and write and think. <laughs> in a real conversation, it's difficult to think in the grandma. Uh -huh, you have to, mm -hmm. to, to write a, like a cards or, or something to practice. Yes, uh -huh. it's necessary to practice. Okay, number five. Uh, Tell me. I didn't. I didn't finish the four one. He neither. Oh, he neither. He neither heard. told. He neither told his mother. Nor his father. His mother. Nor his father. The fine chocolates aren't good for tea. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Neither chocolate, neither chocolates. Uh huh. Sweet. Nor the nor sweets. Are, the both are in plural. Okay. Uh huh. Chocolates. Neither chocolates. Neither chocolates. chocolates nor sweets. Nor sweets are good for your teeth. Uh huh. Are in positive. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Neither chocolate, neither chocolate. Did, did no. you did you went to to your, to work at your job today? Yes, I had to. I had to go every single day. Okay. 
What mm -hmm. hand? Uh, from eight, eight and a half a.m. to mm -hmm. three and a half p.m. I see. It's hard. Yes. And where do you work, Pedro? Uh, hello, teacher. Where do you work? I work in a financial company. It's called IMSF. Ah, okay. It's, uh, in, how do you say? Uh, prestamos? Loans? Mm -hmm. Yes. We uh, offer loans. Uh, okay. Uh, I see, offer loans. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I, I work in a uh, auditing. Auditing. Uh, you're an auditor? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Wow. <sighs> okay, we're, we're talking about chocolates and sweets. Yes. <laughs> That's better. Uh huh. Uh huh. No sweets are good. Uh huh. For, For your teeth. Your teeth. Teeth. Uh huh. Uh, number six. Number six. Neither I have pen still. Okay. Ustedes vienen de antes, señoritas. Quedaron de compañeritas ahorita. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> Jenny and Nelly, very nice. Yes. 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 We miss Elmer. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yes, teacher. <laughs> what happened with, with Elmer? I don't know. I'm not sure, Jennifer, but he's going to get in the next module. Right now, he's still on the, on the previous program. Uh, the previous? Mm. Uh-huh. But I don't know why, because he was able to send everything and stuff, but I guess because of the, um, the cupo. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. And my partner, Walter Guerrero, too. Ah, Walter. Yes, Walter asked me. Oh, yeah, really? About the classes. Uh -huh. Yes. But Walter uh, had to sick. Mm, really? Has been to sick. He has been sick. Uh, yes, he has been sick. Around uh, three weeks. Oh, really? Yes. But is he okay, Jennifer? Yes, he's uh -huh. okay. That moment is very, very nice. Okay. Yes, okay. but he he answered me. Okay. He asked you. He asked. Sorry. He uh -huh. asked me about the classes. Ah. Okay. And maybe the next model. Uh-huh, uh-huh. He's gonna get in. Yes. So right now, Jennifer, he's not studying English. No, uh, not because... He was sick, he's been sick. But not for the, for the, 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 the health. Uh-huh. It's uh, the, the, uh, the, the parte. From? From to to Inglés Corporativo. Uh -huh. uh, they don't. They didn't send ah, the inscription. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm, I see. Well, maybe next next module, next course, he was he's gonna be able to get in. Yes, but he. He will at this moment I don't remember. Uh, podrá? He will be able to. He will be able to uh, participate in the same model to us. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. 
Maybe the same thing. I think the same thing is going to happen with Elmer and um, Noemi and Mario. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Noe dijo, Noe, Semi, she sent the document. Ah, okay. But don't, but don't, don't re receive. I know. Response. I know, I know. I think the same thing happened to Elmer. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm, yes. <sighs> Elmer. <laughs> he's a special he's student. He's funny. Yeah, he's, he's funny. funny. Yeah, he's nice. He's funny. Yeah. Teacher, in that case, this, uh, this sentence? Uh huh. Which neither, uh -huh. neither at the beginning of the time or we put in other in which other order. Which number are you doing? You can you can um have both. For both. example, number one, you can say I could find neither Sita nor Nikki at home. Or you can mm. say neither I could find Sita nor Nikki at home. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Siren or Nikki at home. I need a cow. Neither I have a pencil nor eraser. Number three. Mm -hmm. Number three is neither the museum nor zoo is open today. Right. Is correct. Yes, yes. That's right, Eli. The four, he neither tell his mother nor his father. He neither tell? Tell his mother nor his father. Or you can say he told neither his, um, he told neither his mother nor his father. The verb, the verb, before Change. neither yeah yeah neither yeah he told neither his fa his mother nor so, his father change the verb yeah mm -hmm. to the past he tell he tell neither yeah his mother nor yeah because on the sentence his father uh huh because the sentence is in it's Uy, in está temblando yes Uy, bien fuerte <laughs> yes <laughs> Oh my and goodness. I close her in my, uh, in my room, bathroom. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Oh no. <laughs> it's shaking. It's a I earthquake. Know. Oh my goodness. Yes, it is. Está llorando el gato. Ah, yes. It's still, is it still is it still shaking? Okay. No. Oh yeah, yeah no. Qué fuerte. Sí. Oh my yeah. goodness. <laughs> Long and, and, and strong. And strong, yes. Long and strong. Yes. I know. He, he neither told. No, primero el verbo, ¿verdad, teacher? Sí. Uh -huh. He tell neither. He, he told neither. Ajá. Uh -huh. His ah. mother nor tell his father. Need, uh, he told neither his mother nor his father. Uh -huh. No, ya no tell, ¿verdad? No. No okay. como ya lo quita, ¿verdad? Porque el auxiliar uh -huh. es el que nos hacía. Supreme. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yo, mire. Yes, he tell neither his mother nor his father. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. El his, sí, ¿verdad? His father. Ya. Yeah. Okay. The five, number five is neither chocolate nor sweets mm -hmm. are good for Excellent. Your yes, very good. And the last one, six, I neither have seen a polar bear. A polar bear? Nor uh -huh. a penguin. I have. <laughs> Say it again, Ellie. I neither have seen a polar bear not a penguin or yeah. is have first yeah you can you can have it as i have i have seen neither ah i have seen neither uh -huh. mm -hmm. ah, okay 
I have seen neither. A polar bear nor a penguin. That's right, yeah. Okay, I siempre have... vamos a poner primero el mm -hmm. verbo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, I have seen. Entonces en la segunda también tendríamos que poner I have neither pencil and ear, nor eraser. Exactly, yes, very good. Yeah. I have, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, porque lo habíamos puesto al revés. Al revés, ajá. Uh -huh. I have. neither. I neither have. Ah, ok. I have neither. Entonces, y en la primera habíamos puesto I neither fin. Sería I fin neither. Eh, Siempre number, el verbo primero. Number one. Sí. Number one. ¿Cómo la tenía? No. La teníamos I neither fin, cita nor. Ah, pero lo I que pasa es que. Espérame, espérame, quiero verla aquí. Pero lo que pasa es que está usando el could. Yes. So it would I be. I, I could find. I could find. Uh -huh. yeah, no, I could, I could find neither. I, I could, could find neither. neither. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Siempre tenemos que tomar el auxiliar. Sí, sí, sí. Lo que pasa ah, es que okay. como ese. Es el, el model verb, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ah, oh, ya. Yeah. Ah, sería entonces, I could find neither sit nor Nikki at home. Right, yes. Ok. Ok. Eso no tenía claro yo que si primero iba a ir el verbo ah, o okay. el neither. Va. Eh, when we use uh, have, have with a... Uh, Like auxiliary, mm -hmm. it is saying the could, the could. Uh -huh. yeah. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I have seen Okay. It. Solo sé y hemos hecho aquí. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> ya vamos, ya vamos, que me está escribiendo un alumno que se volvió a salir, que está lloviendo por donde él está. Entonces el pobre se sale. <laughs> A cada la, rato. A cada rato, ya. Yeah. Ok, solo déjenme, bueno, sigan acá, voy a ver unos dos grupos más y luego regresamos. Ok, teacher. Or a penguin. Mm -hmm. Number seven. Number seven is. Eighteen. I'm not 18. happy, I'm not. Uy, I don't. Really excited. I'm not happy. I'm not excited. Excited. I neither. 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 Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Are not exceeded, exceed, excited. Excited. A little happy. Not excited. Teacher, I had a doubt with that one, the number seven. Uh -huh. Numbers. Because said, and it's a three action, but without a. Without relation. Okay. Neither so, visit your aunt nor stay at, at home and read. It's correct. That. And read or study, Norma? And read. And read. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it says you can neither visit your aunt nor can stay at home and read. I don't know. It's correct because that one is the... That's the statement said you can not visit your own, you cannot stay at home and read. Uh -huh. So tell me again, how do you have it? We, we put it neither visit your own nor stay at home and read. Right, but you need to write you can first. You can. Uh -huh. You can neither. Uh, you can neither visit your aunt nor can stay at home and study. Ah, okay. You can neither visit. We, we can put um, the subject first one. Yes. Ah, okay. 
Yo pongo la presión acá. Vamos a estar con un print. Ok. All right. The last one. Okay, teacher. No. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome, guys. The other said, people, people yes, doesn't drink, and people, people doesn't drink. I, I neither, I neither drink nor smoke. Excellent, Jesse. <laughs> That's not it's good for so you, easy. <laughs> <laughs> will buy. Teacher, we have Hi. a question. Yes, Diana. The, the whole point of the second part of the mm -hmm. exercise is to to replace the negative form of the verb for the word neither. Neither right? nor. Mm -hmm. Neither nor, right? Because if you if you say with the negative word, mm -hmm. like not, it's like a redundancy. Right, know. yeah. Yeah, all right. So, um, do you have number one? Uh, yes, we do. We we did it, but, the, but I think that we didn't do it right. But I think it is, I neither find Sida nor Nikki at home. Number uh, one. Mm -hmm. I neither could find, I neither could, could find Sida mm -hmm. nor Nikki at home. Okay. So is, is that correct? Or you can say I could find neither. Ah, okay. All right. I, I could find neither Sida uh, nor whoever. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Can Usually, what we do, Diana and Guillermo, mm -hmm. is that we have, for example, the subject, then we have the mm -hmm. verb, and then we have the neither. Okay. Okay. So, for example, okay, you say teacher. I could find neither. Let me see. I'm going to read it to you. I could find neither Sida nor Nik Nikil at home. For number two, it should say, I have neither pencil nor erasers. I have neither. Okay. So that that is the structure. Pretty much. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Subject, verb, and neither. That's right. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Because we have, uh, uh, we have made a lot of mistakes until ah. we are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Until we we reach the like the ten exercise. Ah, okay, all right, okay. I'm gonna give you like five more minutes, and then we're gonna go back, okay? Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Entonces, I call fin. Okay. So so that's the structure: subject, verb, and neither. Okay. Okay, so we were at the 21, 21. Yeah, 21. Subject, uh, I will, I will neither buy the shirts nor jeans. No, not buy jeans? No, nor or by Jean. Jean, yeah. I'm sorry. Like. No, Buddha. Okay, I'm sorry. And the next one? How could you say it? Uh, I neither like pizza nor like burger. Mm, I like. Mm, I neither like pizza nor like burger. Mm, but. Oh no. According nor, to the structure. That the, according to the structure that the, the, the teacher gave to us. You could say I like neither. What sentence is that one, uh, Diana? The, the 20 21. 22. 22. I, I, uh -huh. I think I, I neither like pizza nor burger. Okay. 
But in oh. this case, we're trying to follow like subject verb and then neither. So I would say I like oh, neither. I like neither pizza nor burger. Nor burger. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Okay. okay. So the the next one, Aditya. Um, Aditya no, is neither a doctor. Uh huh. How cup of coffee you take all? How day. many? Mm -hmm. I take uh, maybe five or six cups. Wow, cups are you coffee. serious, Oscar? <laughs> they, yeah. No, sure. the, the coffee. <laughs> in the breakfast three. No way. Uh, in the breakfast three. In the afternoon, maybe another three. And what? At night, maybe one more. No way. <laughs> ah, that's the way it is. That's the way it is. The only truth. Coffee lover. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know uh, what, Oscar? I don't like uh, coffee. Okay, I understand. <laughs> I understand. So all my no, family I, they love coffee, but me. You I don't do like the coffee, teacher. No, I don't. Why? I don't know. It's too bitter. No. <laughs> I I take a cup of coffee in the morning and and another in. The, in my lunch. Okay. I like to drink coffee after ah. my lunch. Yes. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. but, but Oscar is a total coffee lover. lover. Yeah. I love it, but uh, you have to try good coffee because some, yeah. some coffees yeah. are, are really, the quality is not so good. Yeah. That's what my husband some says. <laughs> uh -huh. Some coffees are really sour. Uh -huh. Sour. Sour, yeah. Uh -huh. And others are acid. I use the, the word acid, but acid is for, it's different. It's for, yeah, it's like a chemical. Like, like a, a chemical. Like, yeah. word. Uh -huh. And sour. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Some sure. coffees are sour. Yeah. Nice. Coffee is not good for the... For the <laughs> Teacher, we have a question. Yes. We are, we are confused about if we use neither in the beginning. Mm. For example, neither I or I neither. All right, usually what happens is this. When you have a verb, any verb, mm -hmm. you usually have like subject, verb, neither. Subject, mm -hmm. verb, mm -hmm. neither. Right, so for mm -hmm. example, I have neither, uh, or you say, he told neither his mother nor his father. Mm -hmm. For number four, for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or you for number six you have I have seen neither a polar bear nor a penguin. Mm -hmm. All right, so we we usually what we do, I mean there mm -hmm. are many ways. Remember that English is like a lot of exceptions also, like Vero was saying, French is right. So, mm -hmm. um, but sometimes it's like the not only but also sometimes not only may go at the beginning and not. Only sometimes can go like somewhere else in the sentence depending on the emphasis that you want to make in mm -hmm. this case we're like learning it this way we're using the subject the verb and no and uh, neither subject mm -hmm. verb and neither uh -huh. so i like neither pizza nor hamburger for example all right i, like neither. I, I think both ways are yeah that's what i'm saying um, it's like yeah uh -huh. like, Mm -hmm. For example, well, the, the thing, I neither drink tea nor coffee. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Yeah, sometimes we see it that way. I neither drink tea nor coffee or I drink neither tea nor coffee. Or neither I drink. Or also neither I drink. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Because, because we have, we were, we were wondering <laughs> examples. No, we were seeing samples of, right. uh, we, we were Googling. This, ah, okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Not stuff. Right. And most of, most of the examples begins with the neither, yeah. and then after neither I, uh, at the beginning they use right. neither, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. after that they use the subject and the, the subject. verb. Yeah. But I have here in many ways, like, like that's right. Say, mm -hmm. here many, that's teacher. right. Yeah. <laughs> teacher. Okay. Yes, Vero. Hey, do you feel the earthquake? I did. I know. I hate them. 
I was in a group with uh, Jennifer and, and Ellie. I'm like, oh my goodness. And I'm a, I mean, I get really nervous when that happens. So I'm like, oh no. <laughs> in the end, I feel busy. Yeah, no kidding. And it was long and strong too. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my. Okay. Oscar, and right now you're on, uh, like up in the tower or yeah. you're down in the office? The, no, up, up in the tower. Ah. Yeah, this the the tower is at the level ten. Oh my! The floor ten, the tenth floor. The tenth floor, yeah. The oh my floor. So the building is like a needle. Yeah. Like a needle, so it keeps it kept moving. moving. I know. It's it moving really after beautiful. after the quake. <laughs> oh my for goodness. a while, for a while, it was. Yeah. Wow! No, oh, I get really nervous with the earthquakes and everything. <laughs> Yes. Ah, it's, it's really un- uncomfortable. Yeah, I know. Yeah, especially when it doesn't seem to stop. <laughs> wow, it, you never know when, when it's going to get uh, worse. I know, I know, I know, I know. That happened in the, in the 2001. That's weeks. right, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My goodness. Eh? Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. All right, we're going to, uh, we're almost closing up. And uh, so, fin- I don't know, were you able to finish all of them? No. Okay. No, we were no, just uh, uh, worry about the quake and also <laughs> no kidding. Googling, Googling the <laughs> No, that's stuff. fine. That's fine. Perfect. That's the way it should be. Uh-huh. Thank you. All right. So, uh, like two more minutes and we're coming back, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank, Thank you. And uh, 11...
Hi, teacher. Hi, Jelly. It's everybody coming. It's teacher. Back. Yes. It's a little confused. The number 14 and number 17. All right. Go, uh -huh. The example uh, say, no, using doesn't. Mm. We, if we're, if we're, if we put doesn't, we need to eliminate it little or. All right, we're gonna see them right now, we, Ellie, okay? Uh -huh. I'm gonna go over them right now. Okay, guys, I need to take attendance right now. So remember to say present. Nancy Elizabeth uh -huh. Lady Chavez. Present. Erika Lirio Perez Diaz. Present. Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernandez. All right, okay. Eh, Henry Vladimir del Cid Tepas. Present teacher. Jose Luis Rivera Gutierrez. Present teacher. Moisés Eduardo Alas Roque. Present. Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Present. Cruz Ayesenia Maldonado Tejada. Present teacher. Diana Gabriela Hernández Morales. Present teacher. Andrea Maria Trabanino Alfaro. Williams Alexander Rodríguez Argueta. Present. Francisca Irene Lima Hernández. Present teacher. Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. Present teacher. Jennifer Carolina Costa Bonilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Jenny. Gerardo Daniel Gómez Rodríguez. Present. Norma Celi Rivera Rivera. Present teacher. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero Romero. Present. Silvia Marisol Villalta Martínez. Present. Verónica Lisset Soto Serna. Present teacher. Nubia Araceli Cortez Amaya. Not here. All right. Very good, guys. Very nice. Eh, ¿Sintieron el temblor? I know. Yes, teacher. Yes. Oh, no. Yes, teacher. I know. Oh, really? <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Yes, teacher. It's difficult. Eh? All right, guys. We're going to uh, go on right now with the exercise, neither nor. All right. Now, as I was telling Oscar and, and, and Ellie and some of other your classmates, um, Remember that in English, we have many ways to say things, all right? We believe that we know the structure, but suddenly the structure changes a little bit, all right? So right now, with these sentences, we're working it this way. We are trying to use subject, then the verb, then neither, all right? But uh, sometimes we can use neither at the beginning, all right? So it, none of them are incorrect but they are like ways to do it all right so you need to know like different ways of doing things suddenly they, they you can hear it or you can see it and you say hey but that's not the way i learned it all right remember there are many ways of saying the same thing okay so uh some of the sentences and some of you have done it that way subject verb and neither or I know Oscar, for example, with Vero, they were like doing it with neither at the beginning. So that's okay. I'm gonna show you the, the manual right now because this is like what you're going to probably do on your um, platform so you don't get confused. So uh, what I'm gonna show you, this is the way the book is teaching it to you, but we're also teaching it the other way. So you know like a little bit of everything here. So I just want you to like, Look at this right now. This is your manual from uh, page 17. All right. In case you have it, uh, it would be nice for you to like see it there. If not, you can take a look at mine, which is the same thing. All right. 17. 17 um, no. 18. No, 17. 
No, it's 17 right here. Page 17. Ah, uh, yes, 17. Yeah, okay. So it says how to use pair conjunctions part two. And then they're teaching you how to use neither nor, all right? And it says neither nor holds a negative meaning, like we were saying, uh, it signals not one of the two options, all right? Example, see the example here, it's at the beginning. Neither the employees nor the manager knew about the new training schedules, all right? So here they are using the neither at the beginning, all right? Neither the employees nor the manager, all right? Now in this case, employees and manager, they are like, we're talking about people here, all right? Or nouns. The employees nor the manager knew about the new training schedules. It says the verb which follows is also what we were learning today. The rules pretty much are the same. The way to go about them is different, okay? And the verb which follows two subjects joined by nor must agree with the second subject. That's what we were saying, that it has to go with the subject closest to the verb. This is what it's saying. This is exactly what it's saying here. The same thing that we already said. The verb which follows um, two subject joined by nor must agree with the second subject. El que está más cercano al verbo, okay? Sometimes you will hear it used in the plural form though it's not grammatically correct. That's what they say here. But it is grammatically correct, but it's, um, I mean, it's like different, but it's okay, okay? So just keep it that way. Grammatically incorrect, it says neither Fred nor Jack like to attend the coaching sessions. Correct, because of the singular subject that we were saying. Neither Fred, neither Fred nor Jack likes to attend the coaching sessions, okay? So here again, this is the rule that we were learning. Sometimes guys are gonna see it this way and it's because it's either informal, all right? Or it's in a song or it's in a movie or it's in a poem, all right? So you may find it that way there, they do it it's not grammatically correct because it's not formal, all right? So you should follow the rule that says that um, the verb will depend on the subject closest to the verb, okay? Now, you have the examples here. It says, neither knowledge gaps nor training, need, training sorry, are addressed without a proper action plan. So neither knowledge gaps nor training needs are addressed without a proper action plan. So we're using here neither at the beginning. The manager neither informs personnel of his meeting in other branches, nor his team inquire about his daily agenda. All right, so here again, if you notice, you, uh, we have two examples here. One, they're using uh, the neither at the beginning, on the other one, they're using it after the subject. Or you can have the third way, which is the way that I was like, we were trying to do for this exercise that we were doing, subject, verb, neither. So the, if you notice, there are three ways, okay? Neither at the beginning, neither after the subject, or neither after the verb, okay? So don't get like, ah, what is this going on, all right? It's different ways to go about using neither nor, and you need to know the three possible ways of doing it. Now, before we go, I want you to like take a look at this for number exercise number six. It says combine the following sentences using neither nor. All right, so what I want you to do, like we're gonna stay here right now, we're not, I'm not gonna send you to your groups because we have like five more minutes or so. Uh, number one, let's see. Diana, do you want to try to do number one for us? Frank has not enrolled for the training next week. Karen has not enrolled for the training next week. Can you tell us, can you join those two sentences using neither nor? You may use it at the beginning, at the middle, or after the verb. Okay. Neither Frank nor Karen has, no, haven't 
enrolled for the training next week. Uh huh. That's the way I think. Uh huh. Very good. Yeah. Anybody mm -hmm. else? All right. So I'm going to write it here. Yes. Diana, can you like tell me again? You, can you tell me your sentence again? So I'm going to type it here. Okay. Ah, but now you're not able to see it, are you? Hold on. Oh, no. I cannot move it. Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> oh, there. There you go. Uh huh. Okay. Neither Frank nor Karen. Neither Frank nor Karen. Uh, haven't have not enrolled for the training next week. Not or has, has enrolled. Not, no, uh, has, has enrolled. Ah, I'm sorry. Has not. Yeah, you're right. Has not. Has, has enrolled. 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 Neither Frank nor Karen has enrolled. enrolled. Not negative again, uh -huh. right? We have no. Uh, yeah. Has enrolled. Has enrolled. Yeah, you're right. And for the training. Yes, for the training. For the training. For the training. For the training. Next, next, training. Week. next week. Next week. Very good. All right. So neither Frank nor Karen has enrolled for the training next the week, training. all right? Next yeah, mm -hmm. because remember that we cannot use a negative, right? Because it's already negative anyway, yeah? Now, if you notice, we're using has here because we're talking about cutting, all right? Only one cutting, yeah? All right, let's see, let's, I'm gonna erase it because I don't have enough space for the other one. Uh, let's try to do number two together, guys. He didn't provide a list of trainings. He didn't provide any other alternative. Uh huh. He, he, he neither provide a list of training nor other alternative. He neither. He neither. He neither provide a leaf of training nor other alternative. Uh -huh. of training or or nor, 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 other, other, alternative. Nor. <laughs> nor, nor other, any other alternative or any nor. other or nor no, any no because it's negative. Nor only other, other alternative. Nor any nor. And not mm -hmm. other, okay, any and any. Yes, he, yeah, he neither not provide other. a list of trainings nor other alternative, all right? So well, that's pretty, uh-huh. Sorry, teacher, I think in this case, we have to, to put the verb in past. He, yes. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. yes, 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 I'm sorry, my, my typo. <laughs> Very good. He neither provided a list of trainings nor other alternative, all right? That's pretty much how you do it, okay? And that's how, uh, I don't know if you have the, the, do you guys have the manuals with you? No, no, no. They are on the platform. You can download them from there. I download. I will, I will, I will. All right, so make sure that you can download them because like we, we do use them, all right, especially when we have these exercises and they will help you to like uh, work on the platform because sometimes they are very similar or like, pretty much the same exercises, all right? Guys, remember, we're about to finish right now. Remember that tomorrow we have the, the session after the class. So uh, if you have the email, double check the date. I don't know who is, like uh, five students have the extra class, like extra 10 minutes of your classes tomorrow. So make sure if it's you. Tomorrow. You have it tomorrow, Jesse? I have yes, tomorrow, have. Extra class. yes. Okay, so make sure that you, if you have the class tomorrow, those 10 minutes, remember that you have only 10 minutes. So make sure that you are in the, in your little class on the time that is um, provided for you, okay? Otherwise, la, no, la, no lo va a dejar entrar porque voy a estar con alguien más. <laughs> All right? Okay, right. guys, very good. So we're like finishing tomorrow. Uh, we're going to keep on uh, doing these exercises from the manual and then we have a new topic tomorrow, okay? So okay. guys, thank okay. you so okay. much for being with me again. Thank you. Thank you. I'll thank see you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Tomorrow, Take care. Okay. Bye bye. God bless bye. you. God bless you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Bye. You're very welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome.